Hi, this is Hong and this is machine learning for the absolute beginner. Today I will show you some tricks in Python. Let's animate and be able to observe some of the behavior of certain algorithms that we've studied. And um, what I wanted to do is after you learn this, you will turn this into knowledge by applying to observe how gradient descents work in the simplest function. So for me, I will not give out the solution, but I expect that you will be able to do it. And um, if I have time, I will make the solution for you. So in terms of animate in Python, uh, we have here uh, the fact that we need to import animation from Matplotlib library. And then uh, I define a parabola x square. I get the first derivative will be 2x and we're going to define a data range for the parabola so that we will be able to calculate and navigate in this range. We're going to choose a point and this point is going to be negative 3 and y1 is fx1 which is uh, x squared which is 9 and we're going to define the tangent line and this is a function of the tangent line. We're going to define the data range for the tangent line. We're going to plot this so let's see how it looks like. Simply, it's going to look like a parallel x square, and then you have a, a tangent point and a tangent line. We want to do the same thing in animation. And we're going to declare a bunch of tangent line. And having this point going to move downward toward the global minimum of this function. And the line will going to carry itself in the slope, which is equal to the first derivative of the function. So, um, you know, we apply in the same way. This time, we make sure we have a set of points that navigate towards the minimum. We're going to um, put those points into animations via uh, the format um, x1, y1 pairs. And we're going to also initialize functions where we take in two types of graph, a line and a point. And then we define animation function, and this animation function is going to help us to animate sequentially. In terms of carrying, we're going to um, see how many frames does it need for us to be able to reach the global minimum. This is not the gradient descent algorithm just yet, it's just a simple navigate down from x1 where we strategize and want to be able to observe from negative 3 to 1. So that's going to take us 30 steps. Let's take a look in 30 frames. Okay, now we're going to just call HTML and we'll be able to observe the animation. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? Okay, I hope you enjoy what you've learned today and apply and going to look into the gradient descent algorithm and have fun doing other things with Python. I talk to you soon. Bye.